So it can be the universe is a core. A way to answer this is to look at a special type of black hole called a co-rotating black hole. This is formed from the collapse of a rotating star. In the center, you will see that pink ring. That is called a singularity. All the mass of the stars falls into that pink ring, which is a region of infinite density. Now, this causes the space around the singularity to become so curved. That is equivalent to saying that gravity is so strong that we get these horizons of no return. We see the yellow shell and the blue shell. They are called the outer and the inner horizon. If a particle crosses over either of those shells, it can never return to the other side of the shell. It would have to travel faster than the speed of light to escape. Now, this is a very good thing for us because it means we cannot see the singularity. We do not like singularities in physics. Our maths can't handle them. We do not know what we would see if we could see a particle hitting into that pink ring. But we do hope that quantum effects will come and somehow patch over these problems. However, this type of black hole has another very peculiar property. And that is it seems to have an infinite number of universes attached to it. We can solve Einstein's field equations for this type of black hole. I do not have time to bore you with the details. But when we do, we get this diagram, where these two squares over here represent everything in our universe. Our plus is the outer horizon, our minus is the inner horizon, and the vertical line is the singularity. So what in the world is everything else? Einstein's equations seem to suggest that it would be possible for a particle to come in past both lines miss the singularity and keep going. It would disappear from our universe and pop out into another universe. But there's a catch. The co-rotating black hole is rotationally uniform. It's going round and round in the same way for all time. But that's an extremely idealized case. It's not bumped in there. So it's not going around completely uniformly, but it's wobbling around. We find that in a universe it experiences mass inflation. Its mass grows up. It becomes infinite, it collapses, pulls all the other universes away with it, and we're left with the singularity across there. Any particle coming in would have to hit into the singularity. So now we have problems to deal with with singularities rather than lots of universes. But is there a reason why the perfectly rotationally symmetric case can't exist? Is there some sort of physical reason why we can't have all these universes? To even begin to understand, we need to understand how particles behave in wobbling parallel vector, and we need to understand mass inflation.